this it? Yeah, this is it. No more button check. Here they go. Hamza and Epic Foul versus Ghetto and Adam in Grand Finals. Now it looks like the Fox duo is already asserting the dominance here at the start of the game. Complete stage control for a long time, but an edge guard by Amza. Takes the first stock actually. Can Epic Foul recover? Probably not though. He can! Fox a little bit too quick with the get up. Still Fox retains stage control. Even though they're behind in stocks right now, if they take these stocks soon enough, they should be good. That's one. Adam's still on the field though. And that's it for Amza's first stock. Now I've got Uto joining me on the mic. Hi guys, how are you doing? Okay, we back, and I'm joined here by Uto here in Grand Finals. Amza and Epic Foul versus the Ghetto and Adam. Hi guys, how are you doing? Well, I'm pretty good. And uh, so is the red team as they are in the lead by one stock. Alright, so uh, get me up to speed here, what's going on? Well, we got Double Sheik versus Double Fox. And uh, it, it's looking like the Fox team has a pretty easy time just taking stage control and again and again. But every time they get themselves off stage, Amza or Epic Foul is there with the edge guarding powers of Sheik to make sure they do not come back just like that. Maybe you can tell me uh, which Sheik is which. Because uh, Amza has traditionally been the light Sheik, but he used to be controller port forward. So I'm gonna have to watch their arms as yeah, they. Uh, we, we're going. To, let's see Amza do some Amza stuff, and uh, we can. Yeah, honestly, by uh, judging by their apps guarding, I'm pretty sure the light Sheik is Amza. That seems to be. Yeah, that looks like an Amza edge guard. So and all that edge guarding has put them in the lead right now. Of course, uh, that's not a distance you can make up. So both at final stock, pretty much even percentage. Still very much doable for for both teams, I guess. Yeah. I'm not sure if the, the did they make a comeback or uh, was it pretty even throughout the entire match. Uh, it started off in favor of the red team. Okay. Definitely, definitely. But uh, like every time the red team is off stage, uh, the green team just makes the most of it, or almost every time, like that. Yeah, well, that was a little unfortunate that he got under the stage. Yeah, that's basically free stock. All that is left for the Sheiks is to take it, and that's exactly what they did. And now it's a 2v1. So Ghetto all alone with both Epic Foul and oh, Amza. And he gets to smash the eye. Could be crucial. That would be very crucial. Oh, well, not if, not if you do that. Yeah, a little flipped recovery. I don't know what he meant to do with that. There's no way any Air Dodge would have been able to reach that ledge in time. That looks like an execution error. Execution error it is. Maybe he expected to already be on the ledge and went for an invincible ledge ledge. Who knows? Either way, they're going to uh, Final Destination for the counter pay. How do you feel about that? Final Destination. Well, I think Adam and uh, Sigeto, they're very comfortable uh, on this stage. I'm not sure if this is... Uh, if I could consider this uh, a particularly good double Fox stage. Well, it, it's definitely good for Fox and singles. Every time I've seen Adam play in singles, at least, he has chosen Final Destination oh. as his counterpick. Every stage is good for Fox. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Adam just accidentally edgeguarded Sagetto, but then also helped him get back on, so I guess it's cool? I guess. I think both teams are pretty good at rescuing each other when they are off stage. I've seen that, uh, well, I've actually played both in teams today, and I've seen uh, both teams do that uh, a number of times in a, a very successful uh, way. Yeah, the vantage from Sheik is a surprisingly useful uh, recovery for actually rescuing your teammate. At least yeah. I I've seen him do it once or twice. Yeah, and so are Needles, which uh, which I actually fought uh, uh, Amza and uh, Epic File. They used them uh, very, very well when I played them uh, in teams. 
We have not seen them used in this set all too much, but that might happen later on. It's pretty funny how Needles are both excellent at gimping characters, and they can also help you to save your teammates. Yeah, it's very multifunctional. Oh, Amza went a little too... No? He actually made it before the Fox. That is surprising. I, I was about to say he went a little bit too deep. Unfortunately for Amza, he does get hit by some friendly fire. Meanwhile, Adam hasn't lost the stock. Yeah, I guess he's the tank, uh, the tank this game. Well, it is his, his stage after all. Yeah, it seems he really likes Final Destination. Yeah, he definitely knows what to do here. So that's uh, final stock for both of the Sheiks. Yeah, you can definitely see final working for them, although it's difficult to say exactly why that is. Honestly, whenever I, uh, I judge a stage for a certain matchup, if there are no gimmicks, I'm always gonna go with that uh, the characters with better mobility benefit from wider stages, and this is about as wide as you can get, and Fox is about as mobile as you can get. Yeah, I guess. That's what I make of it personally. And maybe it's also easier for them to get the, the efficient team combos without all the platforms being in Definitely. the way. Of uh, course, Sheik's like the shark. No possibility for sharking on this stage. Oh, yeah, and that, that, that's a uh, nice combo. Yeah, basically, just a cleanup right here. Five stocks remaining on the red team as they uh, take it 1-1. One, one. Well, two or three more games to go. Depending on... Uh, Epic Foul and Amsa can close it out for the bracket reset, of course. Yoshi's story. Uh, th this makes sense with what I believe in terms of counter picking. You know, you go to the narrowest stage with platforms because you have less mobility. You yeah, need to get your mileage of, of edge guarding and of shocking. And a narrow stage means more edge guard opportunities because even stray hits will get you off stage. Well, I play Peach in teams, and uh, I always feel kind of comfortable with the stage as well, especially against characters that like to like have some space, run away. Yeah, uh, it's just and that's exactly what Fox likes. Yeah. So when I pick this uh, stage against uh, space animal teams, um, usually they have less space, and it's easier for them to, for example, get in down smash or uh, get a gimp on them. But on a stage like Final, where they all have all the space and move around, dash dance in front of you, uh, force you to commit. Uh, uh, it can get real scary real quick. Yeah. So that's why I like this stage. It's either this or Dreamlands, which is funny because they are like the opposite types of stage. All of them have platforms though. So maybe there's uh, the common denominator in terms of what stage you personally well, like. If, if that's the, the reason, then uh, luckily for me there are five out of six stages with platforms. Yeah, and all of them this particular layout except for the Pokemon Stadium. Another great edge guard by probably Hamza. If, uh, Wise did not deceive me, of course, when invincibility is a place, it's pretty hard to see which one is actually the light cheek. Now, if I recall correctly, uh, Amza and Epic File, they were sent to losers by Yapi and Fernandez. Oh, so... Right? Uh, you, you didn't see it? Oh, I, I think I did, but I can't quite remember that. Oh. Or am I misinformed? No, that actually makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense, but uh, I don't see Fernandez or Yapi right now here in the grand final. Yeah, so I was wondering, did they play again in losers, or did uh, Hamza and Epic Foul beat someone else to get here to grand finals? Well, of course, uh, if you all want to know the answer to that, you can check the brackets. It should have been posted in the chat right now. Either way, Sugeto and Adam have their hands full on the Sheik team. They just almost doubled the stock lead, but this should be the stock for Adam, and that it is. is. Okay, well, final stock. Almost, almost a two stock lead for the Fox team, so. Good turn around in a moment, though. I guess Sheik needs some, some gim stuff. Off stage. Although Amza's an expert at that. Unfortunately, together did not account for oh, Randall appearing, is. otherwise he might have hanged up his recovery for that. And that looks like some like Epic File gave up. Yeah, that was uh, just a quick cleanup. Yeah, this was a convincing game. Two to one, from once again. Team. One game away from taking it all. Adam and together. And that's probably what they're looking for. Oh, oh no. and I don't think he intended to go Zelda. No, this has happened twice now, in the times that they've been playing uh, together. When they played the Appian Epic Foul, they were straight up in there, you know? You, you don't get any free base. No, no, they're not going to give that to you. <laughs> they take those. You know? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they played in loose finals now that I think about it. Yeah. And uh, jogged my memory a bit, yeah. the transformation. 
It was uh, kind of curious to see that because Fernandez, he hasn't been played for a long time. So and, I've been told, uh, and he definitely looked a little bit shaky at the start, but then he he really got himself together or whatever. He just started playing much better. Seen it happen in singles too with Fernandez. Well, maybe he's the kind of player who uh, gets better when he doesn't play. Well, you know, he, he did look a little shaky at the start of the tournament, but uh, he definitely got his warm-up in. Of course, I don't know how good he used to be, but... Uh, he was solid, not not as good as Yapi, but uh, still pretty good. But if you don't play for a couple of years, yeah. usually, uh, you know, you're out of it, especially if you play something uh, like Space Animal. I guess he's still playing Falco. From what I've seen, Fernandez is still very much in it. And there yeah. goes the second stock for even Amza. Putting them at even stock count, but both Fox is just one forward air away from losing the lead. And there it is. And this game is completely different from the previous one. It looks like Sheik is, uh, is dominating the Sheik team. The Sheiks have not been getting back <laughs> on stage for almost full 10 <laughs> seconds. And Amza pays the price. Well, if you have two Foxes, you have a lot of options to keep your opponent yeah. off stage. Backers everywhere. Uh, looks like they're bringing it back, bit by bit. Epic Foul holding on to this stock though. Can he make it back? He can, because both the Foxes are preoccupied with Amza. Uh, and he's Four a handful. Oh. He went deep to kill Amza. Yeah, he kill went Epic super deep for that. I like it though. Oh, and another flop by Amza. Did Amza kill himself? Though. It looks like it. Ooh, meaty down smash. Tokan is even. One more forward there. On together though. Should do it. They're looking for it. Yeah, they there it is. There into it is. forward there. Yeah, Fox still has a the Fox team still has a difference to make up. In, they've slowly been, you know, gaining some momentum, gaining some percent, but it looks like it's not going to be enough. And uh, unless the ghetto can pull uh, some tricks out of his hat and uh, close out three stocks, well, that's well, one. Not impossible. Not impossible, but unfortunately for him, the one still hanging on is uh, no other than Amza, so that's not going to be an easy stock. Looks like he's focusing on Epic Foul until Amza tries to enter into the fray. Oh. oh, he should have just gone for Randall. He was right above it. Yep. He could have let himself drop and everything would have been yep. found. And that's just epic foul. Against the ghetto. Against the ghetto, the, the Dutch best fox. Very, very tense. But if Miguel closes this out, sorry, it's the ghetto, then he has played amazingly. He's playing his heart out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Epic it looks foul. Like, it looks like he's going to do it. Yeah, yes, he yeah. It. He went nowhere with that vanish. Fair, that's it. Very well done by Sigeto. So, and, and yeah, Sigeto and Adam take it here at Hyper Focus, a number one place in doubles for Super Smash Brothers Melee. Oh. I have to.